Hey, this is Mr. Hendrickson, and this is the Conceptual Physics Refraction Pre-Lab. During the course of this lab, you'll be using a laser. It's very dangerous to shine a laser in your eye or anyone else's eye, so please be cautious during the course of this lab to keep the laser pointed away from you and everyone else at all times. If you're found to be behaving inappropriately or dangerously, you will get a zero for the lab and disciplinary action will be taken. This is the apparatus you'll use for this lab. Before you get going, you want to make sure that the water is filled up exactly to the line. Turn on the laser and you'll see this. You'll be shining the laser from the water to the air and from the air to the water. For all your trials, you'll want to take note of the angle that the laser makes with the normal as it's incidenced and refracting from the material. At all times, look at the angle the laser makes with the normal. During this lab, you'll also be looking for special conditions where the laser is refracting and reflecting simultaneously, as you see here. You'll also look for special cases where the laser is only reflecting, as you see here. This is what you're looking for in those particular sections. Once you've recorded all of the angles that your laser makes with the normal, you'll need to find the signs of those angles. In order to do that, you need to be in degree mode in your calculator. You can reach degree mode as you see on the screen here. Once your signs have been calculated, you can go to your iPad, open Graphical Analysis, click Create Experiment, and choose Manual Entry. From there, you'll need to input your data into your columns. Uh, remember, our X and Y columns, we want to go ahead and change those out to the values uh, designated within the lab instructions. So simply double click on the top of each column, and from there you can go to column options and change out the labels for your X and Y columns, as you see uh, what I'm doing here. Make sure you put the correct value in the correct column. It's a very easy mistake to switch those, uh, and it happens more often than you'd think. From there, you can go ahead and take your sine of water and sine of air angles and go ahead and just input those into the cells. Simply double-click on a cell, and then your keyboard should pop up. I'm only going to put in a few values here, just enough to get some data points so that we can do our data analysis. You'll notice that you have some points start to show up on that graph as you enter your data into the table. Once your points are all there, simply hold on with your finger on the lower left corner and drag across the graph. It will highlight all of your points in gray. Click Curve Fit and choose Linear. The line will drop over the top and you'll have that box with all the information you need. Also click in the lower left hand corner and that will open Graph Tools. From there you can pick a new or add a new title for your graph. Make sure you do Dependent versus Independent. Once your graph is titled, you want to stay in one graph mode. Click the share button in the upper right corner and we'll go ahead and send this out to Notability. What you'll notice here is that once it's in Notability, it's a PDF file and you'll have that, but we don't have the data table. We cannot import the data table as a PDF, unfortunately, but what we can do is we can go back to our graphical analysis and choose only our data table and go ahead and just do a screen capture so now we have that in our photos. If you go back to Notability and in that same note file we were working on earlier with our graph, you can go ahead and add a photo 
from your photos by just clicking that uh, plus button in the upper right corner there and you can drop in that picture of our data table make sure you scale it up so that we can see it so now you have on the first page your graph the second page your data table and then make sure you do uh, find the equation of the line and annotate that over the top of your graph And then lastly, you'll be ready to share this out to your instructor through Schoology. So just simply click in that upper left corner, click the share button, make sure you pick PDF, hit share note. And at that point, you can select Schoology. And there will be a live assignment to which you can go ahead and submit this file that is obviously uh, submitted separately from the actual lab packet itself. And that's the lab. If you have any questions, make sure you read it and ask your teacher if you have any further questions. Good luck and thanks for watching.